I am here at Public House with Robert Irvine. What are you on? How's everybody doing out there? Yes, Robert Irvine's Public House, Tropicana. We are one year old today. Congratulations, Chef. Thank it's you. been an amazing journey watching this come in to fruition. But you made an entrance like no other chef I've ever seen. You fell down to Tropic in a tower, you landed in a helicopter. So here you are in Vegas, one year later. Has it paid off for you so far? Well, I think, I think anybody that's, that's worth the salt in the food industry, if you're not got a restaurant in Vegas, then you're not playing with a big boys. You're right. So, so I think, yes, we've got a great local following. Um, the restaurant's done really well over the past year. It's getting stronger and stronger. We're changing things as we go along. Finding out what the locals like, what the visitors like. Um, so I would say a thousand percent of people are yes, way above expectations. Sure, and it's always, you always have expectations, and you know, you're an expert at this, but has anything that really surprised you about Las Vegas that you weren't really expecting, either good or bad? Well, there's a good thing actually, because I, when I came here, I, I always said that I didn't want to be a face on the side of a building that nobody ever gets to see. Right. And I wanted the local uh, folks to come in and use this restaurant, as well as the visitors. visitors. And I, I've actually been surprised the amount of locals that do come in, uh, which is a great plus. That's a great plus. But I think, you know, I have a family that comes in literally every week, two or three days a week. Um, the kids, I let the kids make the pizzas, you know, they that's go in and make their own desserts. So uh, that's been the biggest surprise for me. Um, and I've tried to do a lot in the community anyway, you know, with Free Square and, and uh, Military and uh, USO here. So, uh, yes, I think it's paid off. Well, you've always been a big part of the military. You're, you're a veteran, and so am I. And moving forward, you have any more plans? What are you doing with the military? Anything new? So I literally just did a big um, Thursday. I was in Houston at a place called Camp Hope, okay. which is um, a veterans society made up of veterans that are helping veterans through emotional stress. Okay. And then last night I was in Biloxi, Mississippi, doing a robbery of my life. And believe it or not, Biloxi, Mississippi is inundated with the most amazing people, and they just happen to be the military. So we had an amazing show last night. We'll be in England in August, two bases, American base in England, one in Germany, on our USO tour, then back to Afghanistan, Iraq at Christmas. Uh, yeah. That's what we're doing. That's your passion. And you were just mentioning, you found a, a community of support here in Las Vegas from the locals. But what about some of you mentioned the chefs earlier? You got all star chefs all up and down the strip. Yeah, and it's interesting. And they've all got their own worlds and they've got their own businesses. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but I can tell you, and I can categorically state that I think I'm the one who spends the most time here. I would have to agree with you. You know, we're out there a lot and we see you the most of all of them. Yeah. So, obviously, besides your, your lovely wife, Gail, amazing support. But anybody here at the restaurant that really stands out? Um, like that you really like to acknowledge or it's more like a team effort overall? Well, I would tell you, and this is something very special. You know, when you open a restaurant, there's going to be a lot of time. Right. right. People come in, maybe they don't like the system, they don't like this, they don't like this, and they're gone. But I'm going to tell you, we are 98% the same staff that we started with a year ago. Nice. And it's so funny because I just did, I ran up before I, I got changed. I had a meeting here with the staff about tonight. Um, and you know, you reward loyalty with loyalty, right? Sure, so, absolutely. So we've got some things to give away to that staff that I'm really cool. That is great. Um, because they've been supportive, and it's literally 98% of our people are still here. And you know, when I came here, I did the training first because I wanted them to know my two daughters, Gail, me. Right. And, and, and it's so funny because most people I know the comments I get. The food's great, the ambience is great, but what's really cool is the staff know where you are, what you're doing, who you're with, and they walk me to the door and say goodbye and give me a call. And I think that's very special. That's very important. And you know, we've known you now for a little over a year, from the very yep. beginning, and you always seem to try those challenges, physically, mentally, emotionally, and your cookbook, which you have to copy on, is inspirational. It's a set to fit you. And it's basically, it's a manual that they really want to change their lives. So what advice would you give a young person to open that book? How would the idea to look at that book and how could they change their life in the way self-esteem? Well, I think anybody can change at any point in time their life or how they feel. You know, it's funny, it's 
a fifth drill, but we have a new book coming out, which you'll need to fix it on Friday, called Fit Family. Oh, there you go. So, so, nice. so it's all about health and family and cooking and, and, and time on the table, right? Right. Because we don't get that. They're always on the phone to the plane. Yes, yeah. and they're doing this. But for me, exercise creates uh, a great personal image. It also gives a strength of character and a feel good. When we, when we get up in the morning or we go in the afternoon, whatever time you work out in, and it may be uh, taking a dog walk, running around, playing uh, ball with these kids, but they're the moments that are going to define how healthy you are as we get older. Right. So that's, I'm a big proponent of, of you can have fun, you can eat in indulgent foods, you can eat healthy foods at times, you can drink alcohol food in, in, in uh, uh, the right. 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 Sure. Right. Um, but we can't, we can't stop having fun. And to me, exercise, food, I cannot agree with you more. So, you travel a lot, and so do we. And we have an issue in America. People aren't as healthy as they should be. A little, you know, people are a little bit more overweight than they should be. So, what is your advice to try to get a jump start to start for a health conscious life? I'm going to tell you. And this is for all you out there. By the year 2020, there will be nobody in any of our states who will be eligible to join our military because they're already obese by our standards. That is the true number. I am working on it right now um, with some very high up people. And you owe it to yourself to think what you're eating, exercise, and encourage other people to do it. And if, if you have a hard time doing it, Find somebody that can help you go to the gym every day, or go for that walk every day, or play with your kids every day. Just believe me, as you get older, heart disease, uh, uh, cholesterol, all those things are going to creep up, and stress will kill you. That's great advice. And on the good news, one of our favorite TV shows is Worst Cooks in America. And I was so excited to hear you and Chuck Van Burrell, who we know as well. I cannot wait to see this show. I'm going to tell you this. It's probably, and it's been billed as the feistiest season ever so far. Uh, way back in 2011, Anne and I did season two of Worst Cooks in America. When she beat me, she cheated, by the way, just in a packet mix. <laughs> I was very upset, and I'm still very upset. I don't hold grudges, can you tell? Um, but but this is a redemption for me in that um, I get to come back with 12 of, or 13, I should say, of America's worst books and take them on a journey of um, hope, fulfillment, anger, frustration, sadness, and at the end, one course triumphs for $25,000. And I can't tell you whether I win or lose, but I'm going to tell you this, it's feisty. I kind of figured out, I was so excited to hear that, I can't wait, Chef. Well, Chef, it's always a pleasure. We've been here with you from this inception. We're honored to be here on your first anniversary. And, and I want to say something, because you have. You have been a strong supporter of Robert Irvine from day one. And I really appreciate you doing that, because you don't have to do that. And we love having you here in the restaurant. We love being with you. Jump me out of the helicopter. I'm selling out of things, so uh, we thank you. Well, thank you, Chef. We wish you all the best. We'll see you in the second, third, fifth, and beyond. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.